Brad Pitt comme Matt Bocaster. <rire> I bought, uh, the, the, I bought um, Miraval, it's, uh, it's a castle uh, in Provence, and I have tr some troubles <laughs> because uh, it's not my job, but I know the wine of Bocaster, I know the quality of the wines I've produced, can you help me? And we said to Brad, uh, Brad, uh, we are not consultants, it's not, uh, it's not a job, but uh, if you want to do something, we can do something with a partnership. And he said, oh, okay. And we are doing a partnership 50-50 uh, with Brad uh, and Angelina. And uh, he owns the chateau. And uh, we have a partnership on producing wine and on the sales of wine. And slowly and slowly, the, the umbrella family plan is growing, is growing. And today, managed by the fifth generation, that means my son and my nephew and my niece, there are seven to be uh, at, the, at the top of, uh, of, of, of these uh, this, uh, this different estates. And uh, it's a good thing. Uh, Mirava was the first uh, venture outside home. Yes, we have no, we have a, we have a venture in uh, in California. Yes, of course, at Tablas Creek with our, our like importer, with our importer, uh, importer of uh, Roberas was uh, the founder of a company called Vineyard Brands, and uh, since the ninety, we decided to 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 do, to produce wine in California in our own style, and we found a, a piece of land in Paso Robles. At this time, uh, there are no vineyards in Paso Robles, and we decide to, 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 to create this domain with the grape of Bocaster. And slowly and slowly, we import the, the, the wood of Bocaster, and we create uh, this domain with uh, the roots of Bocaster, and it's good success. It was a second partnership in the family. Very good. Let me ask you something. How is to be a partner of Brad Pitt? When you go to the street together, people run after you and this kind of thing. No, Brad is very, uh, it's very interesting because he's very, very clever. It's very, uh, he likes to, he li he li he to understand everything of the winemaking. And he's very involved in the business. Uh, When we, 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 we do something, we take care of the vineyard, we take care of the, of the winemaking, everything. But he likes to know. And when we explain what we want to do, all the time he, he, he's agree and he's very, very, very help, helpful. You know, but uh, when you arrive on the market and when you say it's a, it's a, it's a wine of uh, Brad Pitt, it's easy, it's easier for, to, to sell than to say it's a wine of Perrin. <laughs> 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 but he's, he's very, very, very kind. And now you have a new, a new project coming up. A new product, yes. Yes, we have a new product because we produce, uh, we produce uh, uh, Miraval. Miraval, it's a rosé from Provence, only for Provence. But we produce also a second wine called Studio. Because uh, in Miraval, uh, you have a, a studio of enregistrement, of, of recording. Okay. Uh, it's very, and uh, it was a very old uh, recording studio. And the Pink Floyd, the, uh, the Sting, a lot of people recording a, a disc here and Brad decided to remodel, re remodel, remodel the studio, the studio and uh, he want to, 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 to have some artists to come in Mirabal to record the name and is the reason why we create a, a wine a, a wine of studio uh, but uh, the wine of studio it's IGP Mediterranean. That okay. means that the vineyard is more, more, more large and we are able to, to, to have more wine that we have in the Miraval province. Okay. It's a second project. And the third project, it's a champagne yes. because we do a, a, a partnership with Brad, uh, Pitt, Perrin and Peters. Peters. Peters is, uh, Rodolphe Peters. It's, uh, 
a man who produced uh, Pierre Peter's champagne. And the Pierre Peter's Rodolphe have a vineyard in Champagne. And we decided to create a rosé called uh, Fleur de Miraval. And Fleur de Miraval, it's uh, an exclusive, it's only, only rosé producer. The quantity of uh, production is very small because we produce only 10,000 bottles a year, no more. And uh, it's, uh, it's made a little special because we have um, three parts. We have one part of, uh, of champagne, it's come from to the sort of solera. That means that we have uh, big barrels and each year we take uh, a part of this, uh, this wine. Another part, it's, uh, what we call on the on the lat that we, we we bring some old champagne and we we mix with the Sorera and we produce uh, some Pinot very young to have a rosé mm-hmm. and we, it's a mix of this uh, this three part to produce a Fleur de Miraval exclusively 